So this is a Tourette, I think I'm saying that correct, listener. And if you don't know what that means, it means, if I'm correct and if I remember correctly, it is someone who has, who gets really agitated with some sounds and um, to, they usually kind of snap their fingers or clap to help with it. And by the way, Bakugo does be a little mean about these ticks. He calls you twitchy, which I find really rude, but it's Bakugo. And so anyways, I hope you guys enjoy. Let's get on. Katsuki Bakugo, a boy well known for his anger and short-tempered attitude towards others, no matter who they were. He was a difficult boy to talk to or even look at, especially if he t taught you thought you were trying to be better than him. If he s saw you as even a small threat or annoyance, it was an instant bad mouthing from him, which got annoying. I never really talked to him though, even if him, Izuku, and I were all in the same middle school class. He never seemed even considered me or looked at my way. As he always was busy with his little fan groupie slash fan club for boys. I don't know. When he did look my way though, it was mainly only to roll his eyes at me as my tics would act up during class sometimes. Surprisingly, he didn't seem bothered by my them until we got to UA. Shut up already, Ticky. I thought I got away from your ass. He yelled at me and from across the room as he sat there, Aizawa currently taking a nap, allowing us to free have a free study period. Letting out a sigh, I could hear a different voice belonging to a certain redhead pipe up. Baku bro, it's not like she can help it, so don't get angry. Shut it, shitty hair, he yelled at Carrie who was only trying to help me. I could see Carrie sending me a look of apology, to which I just shrugged as Bakugo started to go on a little rant about how my tics were so annoying and frustrating. Back in middle school, I ignored most of it as I tried to focus on the half-finished homework I had in front of me, my hands twitching every now and then as I tried to write. I let out a few tick tongue clicks as well as I wrote down the answer to the question I was on. Just then, I saw a hand tap the front of my desk, causing me to look up with a raised eyebrow as I saw Izuku going back, looking back at me with a look of worry. Okay. You okay? He asked, and I instantly gave him a bit of a smile before letting out an unwanted whistle. Sighing a little, I nodded my head. Yeah, I'm fine. Don't worry. It's nothing I haven't heard before. I answered back. And he seemed a bit more worried now with that, so I realized I had to try to cover it up. It doesn't bother me, though. If that's what you're thinking about, trust me, it's okay. If you say so, was all he said trying turning back around in his seat. Time skip. Since the beginning of the school year, Bakugo never seemed to give up any opportunity he had to make fun of my tics, whether it be name calling, criticizing, or dumb inappropriate jokes, which seemed unlike him to even make a joke other than make one for himself. <laughs> See, I can make jokes too. But every opportunity he seemed to take. So no matter the circumstance, when we trained together, he would call me names and look down on me. When the League of Villains attacked the USJ facility, he proceeded to yell at me that I suck at sneaking and being a hero. During the sports festival, while I was crying for making a fool of myself, he continued to yell at me and criticize everything I did during the fight, saying that he was better. And then, League of Villains attacked the training camp, and he got kidnapped. He still made comments and criticized me. So, in conclusion, he just wanted to be a bully to a twitching girl. 
but I will admit, lately, he has been acting different. His comments towards me slowly started to finally die down, and he began to finally ignore me once and for all, just like middle school. It made me so happy to have him not push me around and have him hovering over my shoulder just to criticize me, like always. He was no more almost ignoring me every time I walked past him or any time I was near him and made a sound. He just seemed to ignore it, which filled me with joy. And yet, as toxic as it may sound, it was almost like I was missing something. It may be wrong, but I like to at least have him be, oh, have him by me as it was almost like he was a protector to me, though he would give me a couple cramp, complete cramp, me make fun of what? That makes zero sense, but that's written here, but I don't care. It felt nice to have come someone. I mean, he clearly had to have some care towards me as he took the time out of his day to even think of making fun of me, right? That sounds toxic and weird, I know, but like, it was just like that. Hey, Yin, would you rather, you look rather happy. What got you in the mood? I heard Mina's voice call out as I walked into the common area, seeing her sitting there with Denki, Sarah, Momo, and Jiro, glancing over to see what was sitting on the table in front of the group. I recognized the board game, Monopoly which made me a bit jealous as I wanted to play. Ignoring my urges to join the game, I gave, I gave them a smile, my hand twitching a little as my side of my fingers began to give a few snaps. Well, I think that since I actually got over four hours of sleep for once in my life, my body is celebrating the boost of st st sternum. I think that's no serotonin holy shit i said the wrong word and the wrong thing for this thing <laughs> today i cheered and i heard a few chuckles and giggles as dinky seemed to chime in at least you're in a good mood he didn't sound sad nor angry with his words which made me curious if he was fine or not are you not i asked Walking up to the couch as I watched them get back to their game of Monopoly, Danky still talking to me. Oh no, I am in a great mood. I'm totally kicking their asses right now in this game. He answered, causing me to raise an eyebrow this time, my tongue clicking like usual as I waited for him to get his turnover and done with. But Sarah cut in before Danky and had the chance to finish. It's Bakugo that's in the bad mood. But... Doesn't he go to bed at like eight? How can Lemon be in a bad mood? The man gets 12 hours of sleep. Guess he just woke up angry this morning? He more so questioned rather than answered as he grabbed the money Danky owed him in the game. I smirked a bit as Danky instantly went from winning to losing in one turn. Shrugging it off, I decided it, it'd be bet to take a walk as there wasn't much to do during our weekends i mean i could always go out shopping with someone but i'm broke or i can hang out with whoever but my main friends aren't anywhere in sight and i'm too lazy to go find them so taking the next best option i decided to take a walk might be best to let some oh let some oh my god let out some build ups Spencer speed. Anyways, walking towards the front door, I checked to make sure I had a few things I needed. Phone, check. Wallet, check. That's about it. It's not like I need much for a walk anyways. There's a few dollars in case I want to get something to eat and my phone in case I get kidnapped, which won't happen because I'm too fast for anyone's ass. As I grabbed at the door, and swung it open, I glanced over to see a few kids out and around doing their own things, smiling to a few who passed by. I glanced over to my right, seeing a figure sitting outside the door, seeing it was Tokoyami. 
I gave him a small wave before walking off, questioning what the heck he was doing sitting in the shadows. Just as I was about to walk away from my building, though, I heard one of the doors to the dorm swing open, and just then, a loud voice echoed across the campus. Hey, Twitchy, get back here! A Pacific blonde, who I had been missing, yet happy to have gone. Suddenly, screaming at me, pushing to a stop, I turned to see Bakugo standing in the door frame of the dorm's building, an angry look on his face. Letting out a sigh, I watched as he marched up to me, his head tw twisting side to side to see all the students who were staring at him and giving my sympathetic looks, or sympathy looks. He yelled at a few before his voice quieted down as he approached me. It was weird, yes, but it was nice to not have him yelling right in my ear. Where the hell are you going? He asked in a rather agitated tone, shrugged, just beep beep on a walk. I answered back, not bothering to look at him as we started to walk towards the front of the school, taking the path there. Well, I'm joining you. You don't have an opinion. He was a bit quieter than he usually was when he spoke, but I probably look too much into it. He's been quieter around me completely lately, so maybe a teacher finally talked some sense into him, and that's why he's almost gentler towards me, which when we're paired up against each other, for, except when we're paired up against fights. <laughs> Giving him a shrug, I felt my hand switch to the side a bit before snapping my fingers uncontrollably. Using my other hand, I tried to squeeze my hand, but it just kept on snapping. I didn't want to take in front of him. Since things have been going fine, he and he hasn't made fun of me lately. I didn't want to ruin that with a tick that might annoy him since we get along together. Just as I let go of my snap hand it's sized but I felt my shoulder shrug up for a split second sighing a bit I tried to react my attention to anything around me trying to take my mind off the twitches so oh no here we go again he's going to criticize me again I thought to myself as I heard Bakugo chime in through the silence how the hell do you shut up your ticks glancing at him with some returning frustration and confusion, I shook my head. I can't just shut them up. Uh, of course you can, he interjected. I've seen you do it. Whenever you sit there with those idiots the other night, I didn't see you twitch for a whole hour. And when we were in class yesterday, you only twitched, twitched once. Those were only two days. It doesn't. I tried to cut in, but he was quick to continue. It was more than that, dumbass. When we went to that stupid camp, when you're with stupid shitty hair in them, when you're reading your dumb book even, you don't twitch, he argued, and I just sighed. How the hell do you shut them off? Glaring over at him, my tongue clicked unwantingly. My hand twitched a bit. My fingers seemed to dance a bit, with my hand twitched as I look at Bakugo. It's not that I shut them pomegranate off. Why is pomegranate here? I don't know what that's supposed to be. I just relax. The reason is Twitch. Yeah, I was born with them. But once I develop my quirk, my body is basically... Why is dickhead here? Because... So... <laughs> oh my god. So, what? Stulimated all the time since it was once to go faster than everyone else, so it needs an output. And so, I twitch more often than usual whenever it is vocal or movements spiky, as my body is just releasing stored energy. But when I'm relaxed, like as I am with in all those places you said, my body doesn't become as urgent to move, so I don't twitch as much. Why don't you relax around me? He yelled out a bit, and I flinched at the sound before looking away. Because I feel on edge around you, I truthfully answered, hoping 
that he wouldn't get mad at me. But I did what Red Rock Road said to do and stopped yelling at you. Except you're yelling now! I yelled back, seemingly grabbing his attention. As, as his face changed, he calmed down a bit, which allowed me to no- talk normally again. So what do you mean, shithead? That you told Carrie, who, what? That you told what Carrie told you to do? His face showed he was annoyed with the question, but when he was not angry nor annoyed, I could see him turn towards me. His body slowly, its pace as well, causing me to slow. Glancing around, I noticed we had somehow made it to the park so quickly, the sun starting to raise more and more into the sky as it was warming up to the noon in a few hours, the rays shining down through the trees, lighting up the world around us with the bright colors. It felt nice to be around, but was bothered with Bakugo's yelling as I noticed there was no birds around now. Bakugo did a little t sound before he spoke up, his voice still sounding annoyed yet a bit calm at the same time. That dumb idiot just said I should watch what I say and lower my voice when I'm around you. Said it'd help your stupid tics. Smiling a little at him, I stopped fully in my front of him now, turning around to face him. Aw, you actually care about me? I could see his face flush a little with pink, but his face twisted into ang- an angry explosion. I didn't say that, twitchy freak. I just wanted your stupid tics to sh- shit to shut up. Bakugo seemed to growl a little as with his words. His hand reached out to grab mine, but unknowingly used my quirk and dodged his hand easily, leaving him surprised. Then why did you shit ask Karishima? I asked, turning around to face him as he spun around as well to find me standing behind him, his anger rising a bit. But I could tell he was trying to contain as he sighed. I already told you, your twitching shit showed you got going on and it's annoying. At least that's what Red Popsicle said you said it was. His whole mood changed once more, his back oh, back into a calmer state, yet his voice still seemed a bit louder, oh, loud as he, it echoed across the park. I stood there a little confused, my mind racing with thoughts as I was trying to figure out what he said. So he doesn't like, wait, he doesn't think you're annoying, but he knows that I think they're annoying? I thought to myself, trying to in- and print what he said correctly glancing down at to the stone path the ground i held my eyes as he spoke out oh as i spoke out sorry so you were trying fuck to help me with them i asked his eyes still locked to the ground for a split second before they looked back up to see bakugo slowly taking a step towards me i could feel my hand un con- uncontrollably move itself my fingers twitching into a snap i caused a curse under my breath as i reached my other hand over to stop the snapping but i couldn't get it to stop as i heard the movement in front of me stop turning to look up to bakugo he stood before me maybe a foot away from me his face controlled into almost a pout a pouting look as he looked down at me I just wanted to want you it. I wanted you to want to be around me because I helped them stop. I appreciate it. I smiled at him, a light bulb going off in my head as I finally understood it all. And I like you. He almost jumped back in shock, looking at me with a, his eyebrows pinched in, his hand that were stuffed into his pockets come up to his chest as he crossed him. Who the hell said I liked you? You, I answered, my hands finally seizing from stopping anymore. Huh? Was all I got back. You said you wanted me. Just then I gave out a little whistle. To be around you? 
clearly there's something there if you want me to be around you and not like Hiroshima or anyone else. I am bordermint, getting a bit more of a reaction out of him. Just then, my other hand that didn't that hadn't been snapping since to flinch a little as I nonchalantly played with my fi each finger. He looked off into the distance, staring at whatever he, as he kept his arms crossed in place. You and shitty hair, just tolerable, that's all. Looking at him dumbfound, I walked over and grabbed his arm, my stomach rumbling a bit from hunger as I wanted, I hadn't had breakfast. Pulling him out of this pouting sundry show he had going on, I began to walk again with him. You literally made fun of me for the whole year. Don't try to change the story. Just admit you like me back. I don't like you back, twitchy bitch. And where the hell are we going? Turning around, I continued to pull him along, despite his efforts to loosen himself from my grip. To get breakfast, I'm hungry, but just admit you like me back. Looking back forward, there was a moment of silence. I didn't look back at Bakugo, pulling him more and more along the park pathway. He didn't struggle against me now, but instead walked next to me. Just then, as he near, as we neared the end of the park, I heard him pipe up. Fine, I like you, idiot. Looking over at, looking over to him, I smiled as I pulled him down a little and placed a kiss on his cheek. I like you too. Now. Let's go get some breakfast.